Jay Monkeys, how you doing? Damien Keys here. So a couple of weeks ago, we teamed up with Ruben from Glasshouse Productions, who very kindly offered a competition prize as a video maker to make a video for a band in its entirety that you can use, which was very, very kind of him. And we took him up on his offer. And the competition was to go across to YouTube and add your links in for the song that you wanted. It needed to be a pre-recorded song for the song you wanted to be on that video. And he has chosen, he went through every and there was over a hundred people who got in touch so thank you for everyone who got in touch um, and the winner is a band called Coax, C-O-A-X which we'll put the link down below and thank you so much for getting in touch but that is not all because the reason why we do this is because we want to learn and when we're learning what I want to do is I want to be able to give you information things that you can improve things that you can think about strategies ideas stuff that will make what you're doing better and closer to achieving the things that you want so I asked Ruben I had a chat with him and said tell me what you learn tell me things that we've gained from doing this competition and these are things which I really think that can help you and your band of stuff not just for your band but from looking at other bands and seeing how you can leapfrog, leapfrog over them. So the first thing was, couldn't believe how many links were sent through on YouTube that didn't actually open, that didn't take him to the right place that he wanted to go. So lots of bands would actually send a link through and say, here's the link to my, to my band, here's the link to the song, and when you click it, it didn't go to the right place. And therefore, he didn't know where to go. He didn't know what to do, so therefore it was just a dead link, and unfortunately, that would be the same thing whether it was a record label whether it's a competition or whatever it is you just lost out lost out on an opportunity from that link not working from not checking that that link worked second thing loads and loads of links were left by musicians not in bands so instead of having a band YouTube and actually sending the link from the band YouTube they were sent from non-related band links why why would you not have a YouTube link to, to actually send through the competition it doesn't seem to make any sense so if you're a band if you're cr a creative and if you're creating content then right now you should be on YouTube and if you don't know what content to put up there then go back through my videos and start seeing the things that you can start putting up on content on YouTube because it's really important the third thing, when you listen to a hundred demos in a row back to back, you realize how important the first five to ten seconds and that first impression is, how crucial it is because you are listening to demos around and around and if you have to wait for 30 or 40 seconds for it to start to get going, it becomes very dull because you've listened to a lot in a row. So why make it hard for yourself? Make that first impression on a track really important, that first five seconds. How are you going to impact someone who is listening to you straight straight away. And lastly, as a side note, one thing he did say was the amount of bands that are putting stuff on YouTube that could just raise their game with a video production level very, very simply with a couple of video lights or just thinking about the lighting and, and the surroundings of where you're making videos. You can just raise your game ever so slightly. It would be amazing if everyone could have professional videos done by people like Ruben, but if you can't because you can't afford it, you, that's no excuse for not having a really good quality, good standard video. So think about your lighting, think about your surroundings, think about where you're shooting your videos and make the video production as high as you can be even on a free level. So thank you so much to Ruben and this has been a great learning experience for me, hopefully for you too, I've learned quite a lot. Those are the four things to think about. Have a think about it. Good job to Coax. When we've made the video, when Ruben's made the video, we'll, uh, we'll put a, a link to it so we can see it. And that's all for today. So I'll see you guys tomorrow.